and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last meme tier Monday deck. This one's called Fearsome Pursuit. It is based around the fearsome mechanic. We've got some good fearsome cards, Arachnid Horror, Elise, Callista, and uh, Frenzy Skitter. And then probably most importantly, Wraith Caller making Mist Wraiths. Wraith Caller used to have Fearsome itself. That was brutal. Um, and then of course, yeah, making those Mist Wraiths. Those Mist Wraiths are fearsome. Um, and then we also have uh, Chronicler of Ruin that can kill Wraith Caller or Mist Wraith and bring some more. So we can we can keep on getting some more Mist Wraiths. They'll be pretty big. Same with Mist Call. That can help bring them back. Um, we have all these, so we have all these fearsome things that are not easy to block. Fearsome's an underrated mechanic. That's um, it's kind of like elusive, where it's it's hard to block these things. If you keep on making the these mist rates larger, we can definitely take over. And then we're combining that where we're splashing Demacia just for Relentless Pursuit, that can rally and give us more attacks with those fearsome units. There we go, fearsome pursuit. Have a smattering of removal in here, and then one big terror of the tides at the top end, um, where it'll whenever it it basically it's fearsome itself. It's a six five, and then whenever it attacks, gives the enemies minus two, minus zero, so they can only block the fearsome things with uh, five power units. And this could be pretty cool, combining terror of the tides with relentless pursuit. If we ever get to do that, that could be pretty cool. I'm not sure if Terror of the Tides will be worth it, though. We were kind of talking about that in chat. It's, it's eight mana. I'm I'm pretty worried that by turn eight, you know, like, it's just too much mana. Um, one, one, if Terror of the Tides turns out to not do anything, one thing that we could replace it with would be Scythria, where Scythria would give all of our units plus one, plus one, and Fearsome. And so then your Chronicler of Ruin, your Wraith Crawler, those things would gain Fearsome as well, or, like, your Valfi Spiders or anything else. Like, you give them Fearsome, too. That could be something to, to play also. We'll see, though. All right, we're going to go play uh, five games over in normal, because that's what we do here on Meme Tier Monday. Let's have some fun. Let's see if we get to uh, attack for a bunch. Draven Vi? I don't think I've seen a Draven Vi deck before. I don't think I have. I'm just going to mulligan the spells, look for our units to curve out. Relentless Pursuit is the kind of spell that you just should always mulligan 100% of the time. It's a card that can win the game for you in the late game with giving you the extra attack step, but it's not anything you ever want in your opener. It's nothing. So it's something that I'll mulligan every single matchup always. And I do that and that's not that's nothing new. That's something that I do with every Relentless Pursuit deck I play. Right. Fearsome. Um, Alright, we'll block here. I like turning that thing into a 2-1 because of Withering Whale. So we're going to take 2 damage anyway. And then I will just get this free attack while they can't block Elise. Oh, that's all good ammo. Welcome back. That's good. Got a good walk with the dogs. Let's get a good we were talking about maybe Terror of the Tides, turning that into six mana Scythria of just Terror of the Tides. It's a cool ability, but eight mana just being so much mana that maybe six mana Scythria giving all of our things fearsome the with the attack could be more useful. So no, I didn't. I didn't change anything though, because you weren't here. Hey, this is how I win. Hello, hello. All right, pretty nice black spear there on the Draven. We ride for Noxus. So we're taking uh, five damage. So this is, so yeah, I wasn't sure what Draven Vi was, but it's just Noxus Splashing Vi, which honestly is probably pretty great. 
Vi is pretty great. So Noxus, Splash Vi, probably also pretty great by proxy. Yeah. Just fills that 5 mana slot super well. So Vi will be able to kill one of these. No blocks. Oh my gosh, no blocks. That'd be great. Yeah, it's probably a really good idea. Vi fits the five mana spot in the curve. Like, there's not really anything on the five mana slot. Probably a pretty awesome splash. I don't know why they're not blocking, but I love it. I... Yeah, I can't really imagine why they wouldn't. Okay, so I do have the ability to... Uh, I was going to say I have the ability to go Chronicler and then... Uh, um, Black Spear, but Black Spear doesn't kill either of these. Uh, we may need... This is pretty rough. So they, they challenge, they make this 10 Overwhelm. We need Withering Whale? Hmm. If I play Callista... Play Callista, I only get one Black Spear. If I don't play anything, I can just go block, block, and then Black Spear, Black Spear. No, we play Callista. That's not lethal. I mean, he's at. Oh, that makes that 12. Yeah. I guess I didn't consider that, how that pumped it up twice. You know, because you can go over 10 with that. Yeah, my bad. I didn't think about that. I did not think about that. I was thinking it would, you know, stop at 10, and yeah, I forgot that it keeps going. Right. With that actually being two. So, okay, so I... The only thing... So basically, I had to go Chronicler of Ruin on Elise, so I didn't have a one health unit. Um, so that's why I had to play instead of Callista. Or Chronicler on Frenzied Skitter would have also worked, I suppose. Or just playing the Withering Wheel and gaining three life. So I had to do one of those things. Frenzied Skitter with Chronicler of Rune could be pretty cool. Alright, so we're probably trading our 3-2 for their 3-3. We'll be me trading one of my cards for two of theirs. Yeah, 
I didn't didn't realize that. I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm not blocking this petty officer if they attack with it. This just shit. This saves me two life. Uh, plans change with withdrawing the miss call. We'll keep the miss call. We'll be able to go chronicler plus miss call next turn. Keep this mana for that. Chronicler the frenzied skitter and then miss call it back. Could do it with the Elise, but probably would rather have the skitter. Petty officers are looking good though. The three twos. Are perfect size against fearsome units. Looking for trouble? It found you. So many, so much. And then we can do this miss call during combat and turn those things into one twos. So I could block those petty officers. You're cute when you're armed. Firepower's only style. Doing it now just kind of lets them know that you know we're not getting any surprise value with doing it now. But it gives me another blocker potentially. Huh. Mwah. Their board's full. Now you've gone and upset it. Now I got my three spiders to level up Elise. Considering chroniclering the chronicler so that it doesn't have vulnerable anymore. Because I'm pretty sure they're, you know, like how they pass the turn, I'm pretty sure they're going straight to attacks. This next turn. All right, now we got a couple of rallies. Open wide. Sure. Double back for the next kill. You'll 
so their only blocker for all of my fearsome units will be Misfortune right now. I can pull Misfortune with the Vile Feast Spider and hit him for 13. Or I just challenge it with like a, an Arachnoid Horror and, and kill it and then hit him for 10. I think that challenge it with this spider and hit him for 13 is the better play to start with, and then we'll have another Relentless Pursuit. Oh! Hmm. I guess we're not going to get that spider, huh? Well, that's too bad. Guess we're doing this then. I can't I can't vile feast after you know like I have to go straight to combat before they play more blockers. So I can't quite just vile feast immediately. So I'm to ten. That's I don't I don't have the ability to vile feast after combat. I mean I obviously just didn't need to cast it. I could I could wait. I could cast like the vile feast in this combat or something. Yeah, so I, I definitely could have waited. Ooh, that crawling sensation is perfect. Every wave is a That's a great card. So yeah, didn't want to rally again because then you know they would just be able to block again, but now this is perfect because now we have this spider to pull that. It's their only blocker. And unless they have Fury of the North, this is game. They just used one Fury of the North last turn. Unless they Fury of the North one of these, or... I think this is game. Awesome. Okay, one and one. And so yeah, you can see like the Relentless Pursuit was was really nice getting that that extra attack in and you know it's it's a powerful card, but it's not really a card you need in your opener, right? Like you don't you don't start with that. And so that's why I always mulligan Relentless Pursuit in every matchup. But it's, it's that doesn't mean that it shouldn't be in the deck just because we do always mulligan it. Um I could see keeping Black Spear. I could see keeping that. We're keeping all three spiders. It's the Black Spear. I mean, they're they're going to be blocking, and they're going to have like some beefier units. I could see keeping it. I could see mulliganing it also. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with that. I honestly don't. I guess I'll mulligan it just because I don't know what to do with it. And it'll come right back. There's nothing to fear. Let me show you what I can do. Yeah, Arachnoid, Arachnoid Horror is pretty sweet. Let's see what you can do. Look what you so young. All right, both at 18. If they don't break, they'll burn. Make the Empire proud. Poor deck with donation deck. Garen Draven. All right.
It's greedy not just going straight to attacks. That was like the best card for them to have. More Mason reporting for duty. The few for the many. So Callista dies. They still take seven. So I would have done six and had Elise and Callista still alive. So we only dealt one extra damage. So I uh, kept them from playing like Braum. You know, like they couldn't really play Braum. Because he doesn't block the fearsomes. Many legs, not enough mustache. Not enough mustache. You know, like we're going going with the two spiders to level up Elise. This is fun, yes. All right, core deck. Garen Draven. It is easy, see? Let me take All right, so yeah, we got enough donation decks for Come tomorrow. We've gotten... I have a lot of donation decks for tomorrow then Wednesday Wednesday we're gonna have like a new format and I'm not gonna be done with donation decks by Wednesday uh, let's see so you pull, you pull my bonus cards if I want that's 12 damage Not quite dead yet, but we're not in the... Man, I wish I would have played that Glimpse Beyond pre comp I had a bunch more spiders to pull things aside. We're not in the most uh, threatening place as far as dying I is concerned. This empire. I already assumed it was draining, but I guess I guess the first part doesn't drain, does it? It just does one. And so basically, I wanted that 1-1 one, one to be able to block. That's why I pulled that 1-1 one, one aside. I wanted it to be able to block. Okay, so we're going to go U, 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 U.
Yeah, basically, so yeah, that's what I did, is I used it to deny attacker, because, because you know, the one damage was going to kill that thing. So that's what I was doing, was I was... ...getting rid of an attacker with that. But, the way that I did it, um... ...did allow... ...did allow that... Uh, to level up. I didn't check Vladimir. Sweet. Best card. Alright, GG's. So yeah, basically, yeah, so I used it on that thing to, to have another thing die from their Vladimir trigger. But, so it worked out. I was also worried, so like they had two mana left. I was worried if I just Vile Feasted their 2-1 and just killed their 2-1, then they would spend two mana and play another thing. You know, play another, you know, Crimson Disciple or whatever. You know, like they still had two mana, they could just play another thing and then, and then they would have had a better attacker than that 2-1 that was gonna die to the Vladimir trigger anyway. And so that made me worried about that. This deck's a little all over the place. I ain't mad at it. We're going to uh, mulligan and all that stuff. Sure. Yeah, because of transfusion, I had to I had to put the blockers in front of the other things, and. It would have been better for them to transfusion the Crimson Disciple, and so that's why I put my Skitter in front of the Crimson Disciple and put the Elise in front of the other thing. It would have been worse for them to disciple the or to transfusion the other thing. Come closer. I don't bite. Putting study into practice. Such a hard T on that bite pronunciation. I can't really risk it. I don't know how they'll spend one mana to draw a card. I guess this is not a rummage deck because that's built over and on. I just didn't want to risk it. You won't suffer long. Because here, if if they kill Elise, I'll have Miss Call. But I guess Spiderling is probably going to come back from the miss call. This looks just like a... I guess this is a Jagged Taskmaster deck? Yeah, they're probably playing a bunch of Jagged Taskmasters. They got a lot of stuff going on over there. I don't really have a lot of stuff going on. I'm jealous. Yeah, it could be a mind meld deck. Shared spoils, finding Taskmaster. Weird game. We get some weird games in normal. That'll happen. All right, playing that out first. Now we'll go skitter. -er. Smell that fog. Fear. Hmm. That thing's big. Don't want to attack with Elise. I feel like Elise would level up. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
No, I'm attacking with the Lees. Because, yeah, I mean, it, they block a Lees. I mean, they're still taking 13 damage. Because, yeah, they, they can block the 4-3. It's worth sacrificing Elise for 13 damage. That's worth it. Here in your time of need. Oh, yeah, that's true. I only had two other spiders. Huh. How about that? How about that? All this does is kill Wolf Rider. We should be just fine attacking in with these Fearsomes the next turn. I. Putting study into practice. I bring the storm. So we got nine power of fearsomes. My writing. Time to reflect. Had to have multiple removal spells. Dang, well, let's start. I guess I shouldn't have used the... I guess I shouldn't have used the... Uh, the five mana deal. Yeah, I guess I really shouldn't have played that card. The five mana deal, one to everything. Because then I, I could have just... I would have been able to have two mi missed calls available. Be able to play this Terror of the Tides the next turn. We'll see what it does. Getting this 1 1 to be able to block that's 9 3 with. Pain is nothing. Game's been close. This has been a, a back and forth game for sure. It's been kind of weird, but yeah, I mean they've been they've been doing just fine. Um, is it worth it to play Terror of the Tides pre-combat? If I open attack, if I open attack, all they need is anything that does one damage to the Skitterer, and then it's not lethal, because they, these two things can kill my two fear sums, the two one blocks the three three. Um, all they need is any spell that do, does one damage, and it's not lethal. Maybe worth playing this thing, the Terror of the Tides first. Oh, we're gonna try this. 
I Scythria would be better here. You know, like six mana Scythria would give all of these plus one plus one and fearsome. Only the strong survive. I really need to start paying attention to my opponents. Level ups. Well, this is the worst case scenario for not open attacking. That was the worst case scenario. How did I lose that game? I really should not have lost that game, should I? Yeah, I mean, they, they could have also just had, had one, you know, just a any removal spell at all, and then the open attack wouldn't have worked, and... But yeah, that was certainly the worst case scenario for not opening attacking. Open attacking. So. Uh, but yeah, six mana Scythria, we would have been able to play earlier too. That 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 turn six is where I messed it up, playing the Withering Whale. That's where I messed that game up, was playing Withering Whale on turn six. Really should not have played that. If I don't, if I just don't play it, I have double the miss call because I just wasn't, I didn't do anything with those miss calls, and I could have had double miss call on turn six and brought in a couple more threats and then just killed them on turn seven or whatever it was. Maybe that's turn. I guess that was turn five, not turn six, wasn't it? Because I had six mana, but it was turn five. Yeah, I don't know. Was I supposed to keep Bile Feast available? Yeah, I know. I shouldn't have lost. I did. I'm sorry. I'm not perfect. This game, 19 of the day. I definitely liking Wraith Caller plus Chronicler of Ruin in this combo. I'm gonna be playing Chronicler. Oh, we have another Wraith Caller. So I could do that. No, we'll just play. Well, no, yeah, we'll play this. Attack for 20. So if they pass, that means Radiant Guardian. So they pass, so that means Radiant Guardian. So if I attack out, can we beat Radiant Guardian? That's the question. Likely. Do I let them kill Callista for an extra four points of damage or just attack with the other four? I could either do 12 and put it to eight. No, we don't. We gotta, yeah, we, we attack for tw 12, put them to eight. I see every move. That would have been the same if I would have attacked with Callista also. That would have just been the exact same thing. Banish the unworthy. All right, gotta start chipping away at this thing. Oh no, it missed. 
No. So that means we have Relentless Pursuit on top. We have a 10% chance of missing. Tenacity through trial. Right, car blocks fearsomes. It's not bad. And then Dragon's Protection on there. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty sure that dragon's protection is slow. Yeah, so they can't just play it right now. I surprised they didn't use that two mana last turn. You know, they saved, they banked two spell mana. I'm surprised they didn't use that two mana on it the previous turn. Is it even possible to win? I mean, my only option was, like, I knew they were going to be playing the Radiant Guardian. Was I supposed to pass with when I had the 20 power in play? Was I supposed to just pass? I need, I mean, I need Glimpse Beyond. Right? Like, that's what we need. We don't have Glimpse Beyond, but that's, that's what we need. Yeah, Possession. That's not our deck, though. Unfortunately, Vile Feast and Withering Whale are completely useless. They can't even kill our own things. Not even good enough for that. Like if, if like if one of these was just black spear, you know, like we have three black spears. If one of these was just a black spear, we could attack in and black spear our own thing. Well, I guess we can't anymore because we've never the Wellness Pursuit and Black Spear. We don't have that kind of mana. Terror of the Tides, okay. Okay. Maybe. Maybe Terror of the Tides with Relentless Pursuit. They have removal, no, but maybe they don't. We can do this. That hurts, that hurts. So I only have nine damage now and they're at ten. As far as fearsome things go, if I go terror and then relentless pursuit. Now. 
Maybe they target one of these things. But they'll they would be able to block anyway. Maybe they target the Terror of the Tides because they want to start killing it. Okay. No. We're just not going to draw a glimpse beyond, are we? Not gonna draw a glimpse beyond. Oh, great. Peace begins within. Have that too. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. makes a that generates the final spark and gives them three more mana towards another one that's no way to treat your queen I guess turn five I had to pass after putting that 20 power into play that's so weird to pass but I guess I'm supposed to just pass because you know like they had like eight mana they hadn't used yet. You know, I pass. They don't get to play the Radiant Guardian. It's a weird, a weird thing to pass, but I guess that was the plan that we needed to. And yeah, then, then playing that Withering Will in that other game. I thought we could, I thought we could outrace Radiant Guardian, but I was wrong. Especially whenever it got the the Unyielding Spirit, then we really could not anymore. The three missed calls were kind of a lot. They, we saw like that that second to last game. We drew all the missed calls, and they missed calls is the kind of card that's not very good. And I think missed call should really just be like a like a one of, maybe a two of, maybe zero. I think it's like zero or one or two. Like three, I think is too many of those to be honest. Um, but the thing is, if we're, if we're going to just only play Shadow Isles cards and not play Demacia cards, it's kind of hard to find room for other things. You know, it's kind of hard to find other things. Maybe an Atrocity or two. Like, we, we did get our opponents down to low mana, or sorry, low life totals, and we couldn't kill them. Like, Atrocity, we could sacrifice whenever they block with the Radiant Guardian. That would give us another sacrifice thing. Um, I do really like Rekindler. We, we talked about this before, like Scythria and Rekindler. I think those could be better than Terror of the Tides. This is this card honestly is too slow. It really is at eight mana. I wouldn't play Terror of the Tides either. Um, I could see getting rid of that and getting rid of these um, Miss Calls and playing like Rekindlers instead. I mean, I know it's still kind of a lot of mana. I mean, Ross is probably Ross is actually probably just better than that Terror of the Tides, isn't it? This card's probably just better. You could go Tiana Crown Guard, go more go more rallies. Um if you want that that route. Uh you know if if you don't want to play I know that's another Demacia card. We don't really want Demacia cards. Um But those are those are cards that I like more than than those two. Basically, I, I don't really like those four slots. I'd like to replace those, miss calls and that tear of the tides. Um, but yeah, Rasa instead of tear of tides is good. Uh, Rekindler, Scythria, um, maybe an atrocity. Could see playing like one Radiant Guardian. Uh, if you want to keep it all Shadow Isles though, 
Um, honestly, Sapling Toss, underrated. This is a card that can um, can challenge. And so, like, we have all these fearsome things. So they usually have, like, one fearsome thing they can block, right? Like, they have, like, all these other fearsome things that don't block. You can have your Sapling Toss go challenge that, uh, f that, that three power thing that can block. Let your fearsome uh, get through. That can be really nice. Also good for Callista level up as well. Um, and it gives us something to do with spell mana. You know, like we don't have anything turn one, so we always have that one spell mana that gives us something to do with that. Um, so I could see playing some sapling tosses. That's another another card to consider for the deck. Um, yeah, so maybe maybe go with like like two sapling toss. It's not like something you know. I don't know if you want like three sapling tosses. It's not something that it's like good having like that one that does that but it's not something you want to really be drawing that much of especially in in the late game um also ethereal remitter another card that can just take it's good with the four drops it can take chronicler of ruin and wraith wraith caller and turn them into six drops where they're not they're not that good at four drops like a four mana three three a four mana four three they're not very good four mana cards maybe remitter turning them into six mana cards because six mana cards can be super useful um, you know, they could just be even bigger. I may I'll just put in, like, a Cythria, a Rekindler, and a couple Sapling Tosses. Maybe those instead. Um, there we go. Uh, if Quick... How does Quick Attack work against Radiant Guardian? The Quick Attack strikes first, just like against anything. You know, Quick Attack does damage first. And so if the Quick Attack would kill the Radiant Guardian, then it does. If it doesn't kill Radiant Guardian, which, you know, it's hard to kill Radiant Guardian, then the Radiant Guardian would strike afterwards. Um, it's not during, like, the whole attack round. It's just each individual, um, uh, you know, thing is a battle. Like, they, they do, you know, the damage goes from left to right. So it'll still be, it'll, st it'll be just like... Um, Anything's so like the quick attack strikes, then re then radiant guardian strikes, and then it goes to the next people on the right. Then they do combat and so on. Okay, all right. So there we go. There's fearsome pursuits. I mean, those are some other cards to think about with that. But we did just see that fearsome is a powerful mechanic, and I think there is some good stuff with fearsome. All right. That's it here for Fearsome Pursuit. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.